Yo mtu wangu wa nguvu ni aje ni aje no nini mgenge true hapa and welcome back to another episode of rhymes na no nini sikiza eh hii episode ni 30 minutes so ukitaka ku watch seamlessly yani we watch without buffering and anything dial star 544 star 20 hash na download safaricom youtube bundle kuna moja ya 10 bob 10 bob napatia 30 minutes watch time utawatch renen 30 minutes ukibaya 20 bob mtu wangu uko na 200 mbit hii nakupatia 1 and a half hours of watch time ni noma hivyo guest wangu wa leo Man, thank hey. you kwanza kukaa kwa hii kiti ya. Ah, mimi so I was wondering no, nini, when are you calling me? I, I have to. I'm like now na tu aseni nini I'm like when's my time? Kuna watu wako kwa timeline yangu ah, thank and, you, and lazima yani lazima you had to be here ah, to come. Thank here. you. Have thank you. I've been good. Kopo? Ni coffee ni kabisa. Nice looking wonderful I looking young. You. Oh my god. Goga 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 goga. You have to say this nice thing to you and Vara. She has the two story. Asante sana you understood this thing am well mzela endelea ko fit kabisa ko fresh yeah safi sana ni ni tware nen ah yeah i'm happy i know of course yeah, ni, as in one you're a legend to have you here ni noma because uh, this is priceless we share this knowledge with the audience watching but yeah. they get to understand yeah. who, who, are, who who is musically yeah, yeah. sawa so, as we delve into it um muta ka background kidogo mziki mziki ulianzia mziki yako wapi ulianzia mziki yako sababu ya mzee you know about mzee on CTA and i like his story i'd like to know ulianzia mziki wapi where, where was wahue music or is wahue music start? connected with nameless no nameless just happened to come he was just a guy who liked music like me so short did... aliangukia aliangukia <laughs> actually kwa shona bahati <laughs> but then normally tell him yeah. this is a deep secret <laughs> secret <laughs> <laughs> no seriously though if i met him yeah before the music mm-hmm. like no if i met him during the music when he was nameless yeah we'd have never gone out uh, we'd have never hooked up yeah okay maybe we'd have hooked up but we'd have never gotten married okay mm-hmm. so your timeline was even before music it was way before uh, yes yeah. it was definitely before okay yeah wahulianzia wapi mziki yako tu kidogo tu just briefly my music yeah. so i used to write music when i was in high school okay high school uh, precious blood ruta eh 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 zile mashule we had weird names okay oh okay God. yeah i went girl. to pb okay i wrote my first song mm. when i was 17 17 right it wow. was for a uh, school uh zinaitwa nini zilikuwa zinaitwa uh, drama music, music festival, festival. interhouse music festival i wrote my first song yeah uh that was a lot of fun i wrote it with a friend of mine mm. but i was very very shy so i never ever saw myself in music permanently okay. like doing it seriously it was always just ile tu kidogo tu kuzishia ukitoka you know okay yeah so then i go to university mm. but all the time in as much as you know you're trying to do these things people are telling you do the serious things mm. go to campus do mm. maths you yeah. do what so, but na penda mziki so even don't feel you know what i'm saying so yeah. any little break i had niko studio you sneak it in yeah okay okay so it was just like that to um no what can i say no yeah. godfathers yeah a 
actually in our days when we were starting there was no one to look up to there was no one to shake your hand it's yeah. just you and your god so so way before even ogopa because because i know you were signed to ogopa yes um your timeline were you there kina poxy pressure wakiwa itami ya kina hardstone oh my god eh, you know kina oh. intro oh wali kwa wapi your time kwa masele what are you kina talking about kina mudoni wiki wa madansa wa hardstone wali kwa wapi kina mudoni wiki mimi kwa kwa fans dai wali kwa kwa fans my fans pa like tu kwa nini tukasema Let me tell you about Kalavashaka. Yes. I was such a fan. Ah. Uh, I remember when they were doing the a concert in Kani. Yeah. I was just standing up on front line. Ile alikuwa na moto kwa stage. Unaikumbuka? Yeah. Ilikuwa Benson and Hedge. Benson and Hedge. Yes, so Benson and Hedges, I was so starstruck. Ah. Uh, starstruck. Mm. Like then Nani came to talk to me what's his name? alikuwa anaitwa nani? Kama. Uh-uh. Roba. Roba. Roba yeah. Oh my god, I could not talk to him. Yeah. Then uh, Bikev was trying to connect me at TV. Yeah, Bikev. Come, come talk. You want to talk to him like this? No, what am I telling him? He's such a celeb. Yeah. So those guys were stars. So as guys came, I think we got into the music. Mm. I can say Hudson was such a celeb. Yeah. Keshaka was such a celeb. Yeah. Poxy tulikuwa somewhere same same mm. uh, timeline nikai kwa the same tu hapo tunaanza kuingiana hapo okay. and then who else were we kina into alikuwa tu celeb yeah and that way wafikia please mm. wako kule tu tuna you know and then who else kina Susan Kibukosi ya yeah. celeb uh, yeah. you know this is not a madam <laughs> Hey, at some point we like cross paths na lady Mas, b uh, lady b much later oh much later much much okay. later and through you oh he baadaye baadaye through you oh. uh, at south b okay okay yes safi mm. now your first song your first song breakout najua kuna mingi huko prior from 17 ukianza muziki yeah. just writing and yeah, writing hiyo yeah. acha niende kwa breakout song yako was Liar. Liar. Yes. Liar was the first song that Kenyan now had. That, wow. Yes. Of course there were others we were trying trying they were not ge- getting anywhere but Liar yeah. I can say Liar was my breakout song. Nal record Liar. Liar ilikuwa Ogopa. Ogopa DJs. Liar was Ogopa yeah. How did you get to to Ogopa? Is because uh, Nameless was there or no. you were signed that? No. Kwanza let me explain. I'm the one eh. who showed Nameless eh. Ogopa. <laughs> Please let the let the record show. <laughs> When I am the one who took Ogopa. Nameless. <laughs> Come I show you another guy. Yeye alikuwa anacheza na Ted huko. Alikuwa anacheza na Kina Ted hapa huko Juma Babi huko hapa tunaanza. How did I know about Lucas? Eh. Ata sikumbuki. Mm. Alafu nikafanya homework yangu. Yeah. Cuz he used to play he was a DJ. Yes. He used to play in uh, I think K K something. Kengele. Kengele some yeah. one of Kengele's on K Street. Uh, yes. And I knew which day. Yeah. And we went and camped there. Eh tungoje huyu jamaa? Lucas. Maliza kucheza eh. tuonge one two things. Allah. I'm the one, I'm the one who showed was. Okay. So from there we went but uh, Lucas was also uh Liar was recorded Lucas akiwa home kwa mama yake. Ah. When Ogopa was still very small ilikuwa pale. Kwa backyard pale nyuma. Wacha backyard. Eh, backyard ilikuwa upgrade. Hiyo ni ilikuwa upgrade. <laughs> Sasa kuna kitambo kwa bedroom. Ah. Kama mlicheza kikali, si kicheza kwa kwa sitting room ya kina Clemo. Yeye mko mnacheza kwa bedroom ya kina Lucas. You just enter the house you first salimia madhi, ah. hi madhi. Noma. Bedroom. Mm. Ah, noma. Yeah. Liar. What inspired Liar? Wow, well, Liar. Yeah. So what happened is before of course I'd been trying to do music and uh I wasn't getting the breakthrough. I wasn't getting to that place. So okay. I was looking up to artists uh out of the country, Angelique Kidjo, Brenda Farsi yeah. and trying to Brenda. make it a Brenda Farsi, yeah. right? And trying to make it a very Kenyan style. Mm. But it wasn't working for the Kenyan audience, okay. right? So Lucas is actually the one who told me, "No, you have to lose that that vibe. Mm. Talk to Kenyans, right?" Mm. Now, uh for Laya, what happened? I don't know if Maina even remembers. Mm-hmm. We talked with Maina, Maina Kageni. Maina Kageni. Maina Kageni told me, "You need to talk with Yen, women." Kwa radio bado. Alikuwa guy's kwa a, guy's a legend. Maina alikuwa station guy. He's a legend, man. <laughs> Kwa kwa those days. Ilikuwa capital <laughs> <ama gani? laughs> Capital. Capital. Yes. 
Maina is one who told me, Wahu, you need to you need to think about talking to about things that are important to women. Mm. Right? Mm. Uh, that was how because I was doing my benchmarking, I was trying to do my research and I normally tell upcoming artists, talk to presenters, talk yeah. to DJs. Get, get their feedback. honest feedback. feedback so yeah. Maina, of course, was a respected radio presenter. I'm like, what do you think? He told me, talk to women. Mm. Figure out how to talk to women. Yeah. So I went back and I said, okay, what do women like to talk about? Mm. We like to talk about boys. Mm. Yeah, whether we either love them or hate them. Yes. But you can't be sitting down with a girl and at some point a boy doesn't come up. Ah. So I said, let me stop talking about this love, love, love. Everybody's talking about. Let's talk about the things we don't like about boys. Okay. So, so, so yes. Apple, Apple too. So, would you define yourself as when you're starting as the, the, the Kenyan female music feminist? Well. <laughs> Well, that is at one that way to put it. At, at that time. That is one way. Because you know, let me tell you, what uh, I think one of the things for me has always been, we need to, I have nothing against talking. Uh, I mean, we need to show, be, look beyond, how do I put this without stepping on? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think women, we are a lot more than we give ourselves credit for. Okay. Right? And I think for me, it was so important, even as a young girl back then, yeah. for a guy when he looks at me, don't just look be, look beyond my physical, look at my mind. Yeah. Don't look at me as someone who, you know, you just want to take to bed. Mm. You know, I want you to look at me and find me intellectual, mm. a challenge, funny, mm. fun, all those mm. other things, mm. you know? So I think the content that i wrote yeah. spoke to the kind of person i was and i still am okay yeah it's okay kwa up as we delve into to king and um I, I was here with lady b and yes. at some point she was telling me about challenges if she faced back in the day and uh could record an ambil kwangori as a female artist every time she was trying to record jamana mkatia yeah. because we came to studio i'm a boy and beat Yeah. Producer on a diet. I want to go to producer. No, this is a very serious story. Is this story Muskia? Yes. Or Madame Sano Yes. I Ali like status. Ali like status. Ali like status. Cheers. Status that you Ali like status. Cheers. <laughs> Ali kuanda niya status. Cheers. Sanitize. Social distance. I am back to the club producer. I'm going to be kumpiga. Ah, Kalambi Abu. That's the reason What? I even left this country. Lady B left the country. She really? Went, yeah, she went to Dubai for a minute. I think I remember that. Before she that. came back, now yeah. I hooked up with her. Then yes. we come to the yeah. industry. Lady B used to sing with Akina Jackmale those days. Oh. Those days. I love her kind of Dubai. And that's the reason why she left the country. Wow. Every time she's trying to record, somebody wants something for a female artist. How has that been for you? I, Have you experienced such? Let me say, and quite honestly, mm. and I I don't remember that myself. Okay. It, it was not my journey. And I think maybe maybe someone was trying to hit on me and I didn't notice. Uh, you know. Kuna za kwata ukujua kuna ndaje. Yeah, like, oh, you mean? Hakuna mtu alikuwa mbe kuingia hapa kuspeed tu au No. Da uja hiyo ile tu hizo. Hata sikumbuki. Yeah, sikumbuki then, anything like that. Ama si maybe, maybe I I'm not I maybe I'm not hot. I don't know. What do you mean? What is shiki? Bona mnikati. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and, and, no, but seriously, I never Because that happens a lot even now. I know. With a lot of female artists. A lot of ladies have told yeah. me that mm. um so so for some reason it was not I cannot remember. Okay. What I remember. I mean I obviously for for recording no but i remember some deals that i could not get access to and kibiyashara. i realized kibiashara yeah. performing mm. out of the country in tz mm. and i realized later why that was cut off mm. is because i said no to ah. a very important person okay and I, it only hit me later because i was like bona uniti my gigs uniti mm. like oh Oh, it's no, because I said I should Yeah, so so I I've encountered that kind okay. of blocking, but when it comes to the studio, yeah, 
I didn't. Okay, yeah. and, and it's good you've spoken about it. So we really realize uh, that's the reason. Has that ever taken away anything away from you? Because that has inspired these young girls out here. No. Since you didn't get those businesses that you wanted, has that ever taken anything away from not you? Not at all. Not okay. at all. You lose one, you get ten. Ah, safe. You ah. know. You lose so one, you, get you get ten. ten. Ah, top. That's it. Ah. <laughs> 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 you lose one, you get ten. She's not a liar. No, I'm not. <laughs> liar. This man, Twende Kongoma, says he's a liar. Twende Kongoma. Okay. Niko Kongoma. Uh, well, how does the song start? I was just 18, mm. young and single and sexy, mm -hmm. having a party. Nothing serious was on my mind. Unataka nifike wapi? Hapo tu. Eh. So my dear ko wapi there is that make believe ama you took your mind back to when you were growing up. How do you write that? Hiyo is all lies. My dear ko wapi. So wow. Yeah. No one has ever asked me this in mm. all these years. So I think for me, let me say I wanted to create a story. Okay. That is also a reality so i wanted to re create something that is relatable yes that there's you will know if it hasn't happened to you you, you know somebody someone. in your first circle. circle yeah yeah you know someone it has happened to someone a guy who said he didn't have a chick yeah kumbe he has a chick ah. or he didn't have a wife kumbe he has a wife yes so i wanted to create and talk about that mm. story okay because it's there it happens okay and let's just talk about it let it be a thing that now we can it's a go-to discussion so from the word go you're creating a persona that is relatable I'm creating a persona to endele na create persona so i'm telling it for might me to tell be you it, it might it, necessarily it, not be your story actually, it was i was not, 18 yeah. your persona you're creating that can be relatable. i actually created a persona okay because for it to be believable mm. you know when you're telling a story yeah for a good storyteller mm. you have to make it believable for your audience yes. the person you're talking to yeah. so i wanted to tell that story it's a good skill this girl. Only skill the only skill deadly uh, thank you the only skill uh? not many people can do that <laughs> mm. thanks this girl who was innocent and happy and mm. just going along her life so and just your story being... with your <laughs> you <laughs> now, so uh? now so uh? i'm imagining that chick mm -hmm. when the story she was just so, 18. she was just 18. yeah that's when i met him mm. Tall and handsome man, lovely. Mm -hmm. A smile like an angel. Mm. Had a sparkle down in his eye. Mm. So he's just, he just wanted to say, Yani, she met a guy. Mm. Fly guy. Mm. And then this guy came. And she's young, oh yeah, she's naive. She's cute. Yes. But she's also naive. Okay. Yeah? So this guy comes and says, I like you. Mm. In fact, I love you. You know, and, and that's I'll the reason give you the what? Because for ni naive, ni katoto ka dog. Ka toto. You know, yeah. ni katoto like, ka sweet. Yeah. Ka kuna jama, apa mekuja, hey, mm. eh? So this guy comes and says, I'll give you anything. Mm. You are the one. Mm. You are the one. Mm. You are my one Parai and only. Like, Naijo. Eh. like the Naijo. I tell you. Mm. Eh? So, um, yeah, so this girl now believes mm. that this guy is the one. Okay. Because how he's treating me like a princess. Mm. He has even said it with his own mouth. Mm. I am the one. Yes. You know? So mm -hmm. she goes and tells. Uh, maybe you can imagine in between there. It's a song, so it can't capture everything. Maybe it's of been course, a few the months. Tuna's just eh, appear, eh. So she goes and tells her mom because she has a good relationship with her mom. She yeah. can tell her mom anything. Yes. Tells her mom, I met the guy. Do you? Oh my god, do you? Love. you. The mother has seen uh, uh, many like this experience. One. And I experience. experience I said, oh, we, young girl. <laughs> we, what a ujinga. He's a <laughs> liar. <laughs> 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 uh, but okay. the girl is like, no, 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 no. So hmm? the first part of the song, the first verse, what I'm picking at it's you now trying to explain how innocent this, this young girl exactly. is and, and what kind of a man she meets. Yes, and then she meets a, the wrong guy. And Twendele, you pick it to your verse. Oh, you pick it to your verse. Oh, you pick I was just 18, young and single and sexy. Mm. 
having a party mm. nothing serious was on my mind mm. that's when i met him mm. tall and handsome and lovely mm. a smile like an angel had a sparkle down in his eyes he told me he loved me would mm. do anything just to have me mm. he told me he wanted to be the one who will make me happy mm. and mama don't tell me mm. ah, ah. Kunenda. No, that's not how the song goes. Aina shida. Mm. I said to my mama, mm. Mama, I think I found him. Mm. And mama, don't tell me, girl, now stop being silly. Can't you see he mm. is a liar? Ni hey. muongo, hey. liar. Lakini sasa ude mnasaonekana ribella. Anaambia madhake, anajua vizuri sana amenye madhake atamwambia. Eh. Lakini anamwambia mama, don't tell me. Hapana, unajua sasa that's the problem of being naive. Eh. Hata uambiwe. Uambiki. Au uambiki maze. You're just in love. Quisha. Just in love, Quisha. So okay. Like, you don't understand.